Humans developed language over countless generations. Then in just a couple decades, social media has burned through typing, emoticons, emojis, GIFs, and memes. It's brand new to our brain stems and we're still figuring it out. With this new form of communication comes new forms of responsibility. Google Lords, the interpretive attorney. I hope that means interpretive dance. I translate legal jargon into simple advice for everyday life. Okay, that's cool too. Policing social media is relatively new you can go from Twitter jail to federal prison if you say the wrong thing. Which is way worse. You don't have to braid your cellmate's back hair in Twitter jail. So we're running down how to avoid real life consequences for online mistakes. For starters, keep it clean. Employers are searching through your social media to determine whether or not you fit the corporate culture. If you say the wrong thing, you can be terminated. And while you're scrubbing your feed, remember to scroll backwards too. Your past posts are subject to review. The bottom line? If you wouldn't say it to your grandmother, don't say it online. Google's never met my grandmother. Next, follow the advice on the memes and don't feed the trolls. Do not engage with haters, negative comments, or trolls online. How do trolls get the job of ruining the comment section? Why not elves? Or gnomes? Gnomes need jobs. When there are those that are looking to pick a fight with you, you have to train yourself to simply ignore them. When they go low, you stay out of it. But what if I have to defend my honor from a gnome attack? That's right, I'm making gnomes a thing. Take a beat, calm down, then when you respond, respond with a positive. I'm sorry you feel that way, but have a nice day. You realize that scores zero internet points, right? Do not allow them to take you to their level. Before you hit send, make sure the emotions end. Finally, never give instructions online. If it's not a tutorial, then don't tell people what to do. If someone takes your advice and it ends up the wrong way, you could end up being responsible. How about an example? Don't say something like, anyone who crashes my ex's new wedding gets $100. Because if they do, not only are you on the hook for the $100, but you could actually be charged criminally. And yeah, reviews can get pretty snarky, but be careful there too. If you say something along the lines of, I wish someone would close this restaurant down. If someone actually goes and does something to close that restaurant down, you could be on the hook for any type of legal damages, civilly as well as criminally. That doesn't mean you can't have an opinion, just talk about your own personal experience. You can say, I didn't enjoy the pea soup, but don't say the pea soup tasted like poison because that exaggeration can land you in hot water. Avoiding real world consequences consequences from online mistakes is at the top of the list.